Welcome back everybody. As a continuation of the previous video, we're now going to get into the steps of finding the weighted average cost of capital. And the first step that we're going to have to undertake is we're going to have to find the cost of debt. Now, before you watch this video, if you didn't watch the overview video on the weighted average cost of capital, I would highly recommend you do so just so you have a higher level understanding of what we are actually doing here. So, step one, we have to find the cost of debt. And sometimes that is represented as R subscript D, where this D here represents the debt of a company. So, the cost of debt it's basically the yield to maturity of the bonds that a company has. So you may have to go back to the bonds chapter and review the material there, but it's basically the yield to maturity of the bonds. So to do a little review ourselves, if you remember, the price of a bond is equal to the present value of all the coupons. So this expression here represents the sum of all of the coupons in the future discounted to time zero, plus the present value of that face value at the end, discounted to time zero as well. And the rate at which we are discounting those coupons and that face value to get the price of the bond, this R here, well, that is the yield to maturity. And in this chapter, that's basically your cost of debt. Now, a lot of times, this cost of debt in certain questions will be given just straight away. The question will tell you what the yield to maturity on the bonds is. And that's great. There's not going to be a lot of work for step one then because that RD figure, that cost of debt figure, is already given to you. However, many times they're not going to give it to you. They're going to give you a bunch of information about the bonds and you're going to have to figure out that yield to maturity or that cost of debt yourself. So here's an example of a scenario where you're going to have to find out the cost of debt yourself. So let's say a company has bonds which currently sell for 82% of par they pay a 6% coupon semi-annually and have 12 years left to maturity. What is the cost of debt? Now, as I mentioned, when they're asking for the cost of debt, they're pretty much just asking for the yield to maturity. And whenever you're given information like this about the bonds of a company, you're almost always going to have to use your financial calculator like we were doing back in the bonds chapter. So let's input some stuff here. So notice how they didn't give a face value of the bond. So we always assume that it's going to be $1,000. Face value is 1000 Present value, if you remember, this represents the price of a bond. And it said that the bonds currently sell for 82% of par. Well, 82% of par, the par value is 1000 That's the same as the face value. 82% of 1000 is $820. So that's the price of the bond, but that has to be a negative cash flow. Because if you remember, the way bonds work is we buy the bond for the price or the present value, so we're spending money. It's a cash outflow of $820. And then what's going to happen is we're going to be receiving coupons and that face value at the end. Now, your N represents the number of coupon payments remaining for this bond. And we're told that these bonds have 12 years left to maturity, but the coupons are being paid semi-annually. So we have to take that 12 years, multiply it by two. So there are 24 coupon payments remaining. Basically, there are 24 semi-annual periods in 12 years. The payment, this represents your coupon payment. And we're told that we have a 6% coupon that is paid semi-annually. And if you remember any coupon rate that they give you, it's always in annual terms. So to find the annual coupon, what we do is we take that coupon rate of 6%, let's put it in decimals, so 0 0.06, and multiply it by the face value of 1,000. So that means our annual coupon per year is $60. But because it's a semi-annual coupon that's being paid, we have to take that $60, divide it by two. So the coupon payment, the semi-annual coupon payment is 30. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to solve for this I here, this yield to maturity, because that's what we're finding. We're finding the cost of debt, and cost of debt is just basically the yield to maturity of a bond. So when you input that in the calculator and you solve for that I, you end up getting 4.21%. However, if you remember, when we input these variables in the financial calculator, these three variables here, they always have to be congruent. They always have to represent the same frequency. And notice that the coupon payments were semi-annual, and then N represented the number of semi-annual periods. So because the N and the PMT are in semi-annual terms, then we know that this I that we solve for, that yield to maturity, is going to be in semi-annual terms as well. And whenever they're asking for the cost of debt, I didn't mention this before, but this is always in annual terms. Okay, so that yield to maturity has to be in annual terms as well. So what we have to do to find that cost of debt, to find that yield to maturity, that annual yield to maturity, we have to take that 4.21% that we found in our calculator and multiply it by two to get it into annual terms. So when we do that, 4.21 multiplied by two gives us 8.42%. So that there represents our cost of debt for this company that has these types of bonds. So this was just an example of where the cost of debt was not given to you, but they gave you the information about the company's bonds. So what you have to do is you have to take the information of the company's bonds and you have to figure out that yield to maturity yourself and always make sure that that yield to maturity, that cost of debt is in annual terms. So if they give you information about bonds that pay semi-annual coupons, Usually that I you solve for, you're going to have to multiply by two to get that cost of debt. Yo, what's up, guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also, check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.